Hey guys, it's Mark Wayne Car Garage here. And funny enough, um, almost six months ago, I'll say, Jack and I did a toilet paper challenge on how much toilet paper we can carry in the Mercer Lago. And you can see we still, I still have bags of toilet paper. And little do I know that COVID hit and toilet paper turned into such a crazy, um, scarce commodity. So, um, I'd like to kind of share you guys the video that Jack and I did six months ago. Um, it even actually uh, made it to a fake news to tell us that we're, <laughs> we're like the ranked top 30 um, horrible jerks that, you know, bought more toilet paper than needed. Obviously, in a Lamborghini, it makes it even worse, but that's completely not true that these were filmed six months ago, but here, that's the intro for this video, and uh, enjoy. What's going on guys? If you guys know me, you know that I absolutely love the Lamborghini Murcielago SV. It has been one of my all-time favorite cars growing up as a kid and that feeling still hasn't gone away. You've probably seen my dream garage video on Forza where I used a Verde Ithaca one and today I'm really lucky that I'm gonna be able to experience the dream and get a little taste of what the Mercy SV is actually like because we're gonna be having some some little fun gimmicks with it. That all said today, you join me at Mr. Mark Wang's residence here. We got Tim's car right in front, we got Mark's cars back there, and we got even more Mark's cars in there. It's gonna be a fun day. You guys know, any day at Mark's place is always a good day. I actually haven't seen this car in person yet. Oh, for real? We've done stuff with this car, we've done stuff with that car. I don't think we've actually done anything really with that car, so stay tuned. But this is probably the baddest bolt in the house here. You see the exhaust money here, it's all gold. Or titanium, but it looks cool. Ooh, I'm gonna peep this. Take a peek under there, look at that. Oh, what <laughs> the, that is so cool. What would that be on that's this? That's an IPE. IPE, all right, that's. If I remember right, yeah. If you guys know what that means, that means that it's gonna sound good. <laughs> so, here's Mr. Mark here. What's up guys? We're, we're, putting, we're putting on plates right now. Fun fact about this car, you guys might have actually seen this on the internet before, doing a little skid out of a car show in California. <laughs> Huh? It's actually this car. <laughs> Your boy Mark here has finally started a YouTube channel, by the way. And you should, you should tell the viewers on mine why they should uh, go check out what you have going on. I mean, I have a lot of car contents that I'm planning out for the entire year, honestly. What I will do is I will do a lot of cool car reviews that nobody else has done before. So Ooh. stay tuned on that. A lot of interesting car vlogs. So I know, like, if you, Jack, I was already showing you this, uh, click on one of those. It's actually really, really funny. Oh, yeah. Um, that's kind of what I'm uh, up to right now. Yeah, I mean, Mark here has like a perfect tasteful collection of stuff that I know that you guys love like GTRs combined with Mercy's Porsches, everything like that. So if you guys just want to see more of his content with his awesome cars, you could go follow that. And if you want to see the the hows, you know, how he's able to pull all this off, he'll probably address it on his channel as well. Today, we will be having fun with this car and we're going to be doing some, some interesting dailyable stuff. We're basically going to see what a Mercy SV is like to live with, okay? We're going to compare trunk space. We're going to literally go take it either grocery shopping or like, what do you, what do you need right now? I don't want to waste money on buying stuff. I don't need. Yeah. Um, I don't have any toilet paper, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do a little TP should we, challenge. Should we just t just TP the whole front of this <laughs> toilet paper? Speaking of in the car. You heard the man. He needs toilet paper, so we're gonna go get him some toilet paper in the Mercy SV. That's All that's right, how we're doing. Let's do it. Man. Let's do it. Start up in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> So we are gonna be hopping in. Oh. We just appreciate that is the coolest door opening experience from any car. Mercy Lagos just fully top it. And I want to see a reaction. Holy cow! How to buckle yourself up and see. realize it. the roof. It's got yellow lining just all over. Yellow stitching and everything. That's amazing. So then you gotta reach way up here. Door. Is there a specific part or just like right here? Just you... right here you close it. Okay. Alright, we're full carbon fiber. Oh Where my is lord. Where's the seat belt? 
Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's was, on, normally it's on this side, obviously, but on this car, it's in the center. Nothing Weird. works the same in the Mercy, so. But that's why, <laughs> that's why I was gonna be like, hey, I want to see your reaction on. I know. I was gonna reach though. over. Okay. All right. This so, is a weird feeling. And then the handbrake's over here, guys. Oh, what? So it's all very awkward. But this is just a little like quirky features fun fact video for the Mercy SV or Mercy's in general if you guys never knew any of this. The dash actually feels like maybe it's just how far back I'm sitting, but it feels like it's pretty far up. That's kind of how it is on all the V12s. Yeah. Even my Aventador feels the same. vibrating on your spine behind you even when you're just slowly accelerating. This is an extremely raw car, I would say. It's a lot more raw than a Ventador in terms of the seating. The, the, essentially, the how, how oh, yeah. the car feels the road is very different. Oh. I personally think this is an easier car to drive than the Ventador. I can, um, I can see that. I can very much see that. I think the steering is a little bit more direct. Yeah. A little less on the torque. I would say, maybe it's because of the gearing ratio. I think this has six gear and the, the Ventador has seven. Yeah. So it's a bit more spread out, but honestly, if I have to pick two cars, I don't know how the SV drives on the Ventador, you know, version, but I will pick this car over regular Ventador for sure. <laughs> And of course, we have traffic. <laughs> I mean, today's video is all about highlighting the real daily struggles of if you were to own one of these. So traffic actually, I mean, in the real world, you have to experience traffic, in a, even in a Merce Lago SV. The road doesn't work extremely for you in all your odds. <laughs> in the Costco parking lot now. Yeah. A little bit more remote. Yeah. So we don't get... You could try going way over here yeah. on this side. The problem is that Costco's always crowded, that's the problem. over on this side to yeah, unplug my seatbelt, but it's on yeah. this side. Car is parked up here casually, somewhere in the lot, in the midst of the sea of Costco cars. Oh, hey, how was it? I've never, okay. <laughs> People say they get goosebumps from the exhaust. I think just complete baloney, <laughs> but I don't know how, but that's just the best sounding car in the world. Like, I <laughs> it is, it's God, it's, it's way too incredible. Staring at it in a parking lot, it's so low and hunkered down that it looks like a small car, but you realize how wide it is, and you realize that the overall area space that it takes up is about the same as this Accord over here. These mirrors are so underrated and cool. You know they are like 7,000 a piece now. <laughs> it's I don't want to know that. Car, I think the spoiler is like 22,000. So oh my god. There. So you do not want to hear Yeah, you don't want to just side swipe and yank off a mirror of 7K. Oh like <laughs> these SV badges, they're like $1,000 each or something. <laughs> it's ridiculous that you think about. Sorry, you don't even care. Uncle Wayne, can we buy some lollipops? Absolutely. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> if we entered the uh, vicinity of Costco, 
Now, this is where you can get lost in here, honestly. Uh, Alright, so let's find TP. Where are we're you? on a mission. We gotta find toilet paper. We haven't even looked in the truck. Okay, we need now. a... First of all, guys, we need a cart. <laughs> we're gonna need a cart. all the time, right? Yeah, I know. We're, we're totally good grocery shoppers. This is grocery getting in the Mercy SV. The Mercy SV is our grocery getter for the day. <laughs> it's a cart. Okay. Are, we, are we Grand Theft Autoing this oh, cart yes. way down here? <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, oh, it's... Oh, this. Grand Theft Auto, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> we're such, not a we're such kids, it's so funny. We are children. <laughs> this is bad parenting right here. We're <laughs> Don't grant, um, don't Uncle grant this. influence on me. <laughs> oh, we got traffic. We got, we got Costco traffic in here. Hmm. Wow. Gotta get some good ones, so. Wow. <laughs> Toilet paper for wire, challenge question mark. Wide body sheets. Oh. We should use wide body sheets. Yeah, for see? Soft. Wider sheets, wide body sheets. Wide body. Is that a hint <laughs> to what's coming? <laughs> How about this? Ultra soft. Oh, that's a that's a big boy. Alright. <laughs> Alright, what else? How many? That's, uh, this is so much. <laughs> Holy so crap. Do that. Like for a hotel. Ultra strong. Let's do one ultra strong. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do some TP reviews, guys, in my own channel. Now that is why you must subscribe. All right. Should we mix it with something else? I mean. Um. Yeah. We can see what's I'm over. I'm starting to kind of question our capabilities of fitting another more, but let's do it. <laughs> this is where we start going above our heads here. Yeah. I think Kleenex? let's go with Kleenex. Let's do that. All right. Yeah. We'll have boxes on there too. All right. Dude, we should we get more? <laughs> Worst case, we return. I Why, think what right? we should do is we should just get a Costco rotisserie chicken in the middle. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> that was not. <laughs> that was not. That was not. All. That was not our I idea. I promise. <laughs> that this is the most cozy nest cabin. for that rotisserie chicken. Oh. Well, I'm very, I'm very glad that the Mercy SV trunk is completely separated from the rest <laughs> of the interior. <laughs> oh, that chicken is blessed. <laughs> I want to eat SB chicken. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's tell me, Jack, which one should be blessed? Alright, comment down below, which chicken are we? <laughs> we um, get, like, the wrap one, just like the, I don't know how big you want to get it. I think this is fine. That's fine? Okay. Okay. I mean, um, we're, we're going all out for you guys. Right, we're going all out. We really are. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a tiger by the toe. If you always let him go, uh, this chicken is blessed. Alright, that chicken. <laughs> you are blessed. <laughs> Buddy, you are blessed. Imagine just seeing this out of context right now. <laughs> oh, you smell so good. This three Asian people saying a chicken's blessed in the red. I want to I show people. They're like, they, the checkout counter lady is going to be so confused. How exactly. <laughs> we got a lot of toilet paper and chicken. We should name our chicken, though. What should, what should we what, name what's our name? What's our chicken name right now? Something Lamborghini-esque. Ferruccio. <laughs> Ferruccio Lamborghini. Oh, yeah, Ferruccio. Yeah. Okay. The founder of Lamborghini. I was, yes. I was more literal. I was thinking it's just just the uh, oh. Chickagini. Chickagini. <laughs> right, the name is Ferruccio Chickagini. I like it. I like it. Very Italian. Our chicken got really pissed off by some guy named Enzo back in the day and decided to start a company. <laughs> this is for the chicken nest. In case the chicken cry, we have Kleenex to comfort the chicken's emotion. So we're very considerate people. Can you hold this for now? Chicken <laughs> you? Miss right. Chikagini is staying. You gotta take care right, of we'll Ferruccio right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most low key awkward interaction. Yeah, it's just these things. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to make a chicken mummy. <laughs> 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 Trying different types of textures to wrap chicken. <laughs> chicken one. <laughs> you need to tell your kids these stories. You want a box for the chicken? Um, no, chicken's staying with me. <laughs> Grab the side. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing it right away. Right now. Thank you so much. Yeah, you too. <laughs> toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper, chicken. <laughs> the guy is probably gonna go, this is the most bizarre purchase of the day. Making a chicken mummy. <laughs> Alright, so we move. We moved the car for a better primal parking spot so we could load up the front. It's time to build the nest. <laughs> well, we got front end lift status up here. Oh, that's a lot of room. That's a lot more than I thought. Holy cow. Okay. Hey, first of all, 
Do you want to hop inside? <laughs> Do I want to hop inside? <laughs> sure. All right. Tim and his trunk challenge. Okay, that yeah, is I'll as a statement. Trunk. If you could be first ever in a Mercy SV trunk, out of all the trunks yeah. Tim has been in, I think you are actually the I think first I could. person. Yeah. Most likely, yes. Okay. People who own Mercy aren't going to be stupid enough to do that, <laughs> except me. <laughs> Dude! Alright, don't- I'm gonna close yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Dude, that's- oh! <laughs> Done! Done! Starts it up. <laughs> He's actually in there. Okay, oh. Tim, I'm gonna release you. Give me a second. <laughs> I don't want you to have claustrophobic. Nah, I'm good. I'm used to it. Alright. Three, two, one. Tim's yep. gonna pop out. Three, two, two one. Hi, Tim. Welcome to the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All the coders out there, this is official Tim saying hello world. <laughs> <laughs> Tim in the mercy. I mean, that's, that's better than my R8. It is. I couldn't fit in the R8. Yeah. yeah. This is actually pretty insane. I, I, this is my first time really taking a closer look. <laughs> yeah. Of how the trunk looks like. Obviously, I'm quite surprised. Okay. Right. How many, how many do we think? Oh, oh, bets. yeah, bets. bets. Uh, six, six, six. How many do we even have? I don't 30, even know how many. 60, we have 90. We have 90, and then here that's 12. So we have one or two. All right, I'll be the one guy. I'm gonna say we could fit all 90 in there. <laughs> I think we can fit all 90 and the Kleenex and the chicken. <laughs> okay, Mark says all. I say just 90 toilet papers. What do you say? <laughs> Tim is calculating. I said, Tim said I can't fit one Tim. 68. That's I know. 68. 68, okay. okay. Well, that's 670. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right, that's right. 6. That's um, 12. I wanna, should I? Mm. I think maybe we. Mm, the 6, 12, 18. Let's see what we can do. Perfect. Oh, it's like, it was, it's it's like it's a design like a for one. this. It literally doesn't get any better than that. Voila. Perfect fitment. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's not um like planned at all, I swear. Like, we still have more to go though, so I'm actually still, kinda like, I'm kinda nervous. We'll see. I'm starting to I, I wanna start taking it apart now. Okay. Just so okay. we kinda a little bit. This is like Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. It's like every single thing. Placing though. block. Oh yeah. Placing yeah. blocks. Oh. Placing block. Breaking block. <laughs> oh, I think we got this. This is <laughs> so far looking promising. So we got our lat. We got Charmin. They actually did really ultra, good. Ultra, ultra strong. <laughs> oh, from the face. Are we making the fortress? That's gonna the chicken will go in the center. <laughs> yeah, so we should try and do that if we can. This is our Minecraft masterpiece right here. <laughs> All right, Jack, it's starting to get challenging. All right, Hopefully time to apply some geometry. Exactly. We got two here. Looking pretty good, if you ask me. Yeah. Like that? Oh, that's tough. Yeah, because I can like smush it. That's what I do with this one. I'm trying to pack as much as I can because I want to win the bet. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I shall... We're... We lost our... Where's our chicken? Oh. It's way... It's buried in here. Oh my god, Ferruccio. Ferruccio. All right, I want to at least place the chicken now. Oh! <laughs> no way. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> just take a photo of this. Oh my god. So now we're on to the Kleenex stage. These are boxes. We can't really smush these. Oh, Mark's trying really hard. All right, so we're putting it on top of the chicken now. I'm gonna rearrange some of this stuff. Oh shoot, yeah. I can smell the chicken. Yeah? Can you smell it? Yes, we certainly can smell the chicken. <laughs> Tim's getting down and dirty in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is some like Minecraft style. It is. <laughs> Desire. It's a Minecraft fortress. We got our lapis <laughs> blocks right here. <laughs> and then we have our iron our iron. Going back the old stuff. days. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Is it all all empty? <laughs> Wiping your mouth with some last bit of toilet paper. <laughs> no way. We actually got all of that in there. Okay, I okay have one, one box. <laughs> one box. Okay. What will we do? I almost win my bet. <laughs> we got, this, so is, this, is, this is some Tetris we gotta figure out. Oh my. Oh. And then it's like that. Oh. 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 All right. The test. The true Moment test. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my oh God. come on. No way. No way. Oh my God. Maybe we should just drive it exposed like that. <laughs> Get some air induction. Oh. What if you press a little bit down? 
it's it's pretty oh. it's pretty it's this layer that's that's the issue. I mean, if we start with the boxes on the bottom, I think that might be easier. I Paul, I I also think we can fit it. I think we just fit it incorrectly in the yeah. layer. Yo. I think it should be good. Yo! You did it! I will win it! Yeah! I fucking beat the challenge! This is impossible! This is impossible! So right now there is 90 rolls of toilet paper plus how many boxes of Kleenex, who knows, and then a chicken all inside. This is no way! I am so impressed! Guys, yeah. and this is completely past as a daily driver. Oh sorry, yeah. Sorry Priuses people, I'm sorry. Look at this extravaganza right here. Look at that. Oh my god. This That's is just my Minecraft fortress right here. <laughs> you basically could put any grocery list of stuff in that trunk. I mean, it's, Get it's a amazing. Get CSC. That's the best daily car of all exactly. time. Exactly. That's what we've proven we proved today. It for you. Now it's time to hit the road and deliver our Fruccio Chikagini back home. We made it back to HQ. We got the chicken sitting there right on top of the carbon fiber SV wing. It made it home. We weren't we weren't playing, we weren't skidding. We literally got all the toilet papers from Costco to here. We fit it all in here and we took them all the way back. So thank you guys for watching some classic ultramotive fun. Leave a fat like on this video and leave a like if you want to see us do more fun stuff like this with maybe some of the other cars. Maybe something really impractical in that. Who knows, this is the kind of stuff that I want to provide to you guys. Not just like destroying cars and doing crazy stuff, just doing fun random stuff in cars that one wouldn't ever think to do in such a crazy cool car like that. So anyways, go subscribe to Mark's channel. This will be Jack Ultramotive, signing it off. Ultra.